Rimmel, just in case you forgot what the game was called. Um, <laughs> what kind of fucking intro was that? So, I've done some things while the game has been paused. Well, I, I unpaused it for all of about five seconds just to get some things sorted out here. So, first things first, I've pasted in a couple of other bedrooms, as you can see, using the blueprint mod. Great mod, by the way, if you don't have it. Um, took a copy of this bedroom, which was basically finished last episode. I just managed to get a little bit more bamboo to fill in the floors there. Taken the blueprint of that, and I've just pasted it into, uh, the other rooms as a template. We should probably also do it for the prison, right? Um... Oh shit, the bed in the prison slightly off center. Well, that's annoying. I mean, they're all off center because it's a it's a like a seven by seven room with a two by two bed, so obviously that's not going to work. But um, that's going to give them the maximum comfort using all the different furniture mods we've got. Oh my god, the dresses have spawned in the wrong way around. That's so annoying. I think there are even some other things we can get as well. But honestly, the amount of wood that it's going to take to build this much shit because we've got the we've got the furniture plus mod. We've also got the old style furniture mod, which is my personal favorite. There. Oh man, the the rugs are really nice as well, aren't they? Um, on the subject of that. I've gone about and sort of started preparing the next bits of the base. Like I said, I haven't done pause, so they haven't done anything else since last episode, besides just getting some planning in place here. Um, I've put down some quarry platforms, which count as almost like temporary storage for, um, for materials that you dig up from the quarry, right? So they don't need to be immediately hauled into here before they count towards your uh, resource count. I've started working on a bridge, which will allow them to get to the other side of the river. And over here, we're just going to have some farms temporarily. This is going to be the area where the lab goes, but for now, farms are a bit more of a priority. Now... As for the research, I kind of went into advanced bridge building immediately, not realizing that one of the bridge building mods allows you to build, um, allows you to build bridges, but bridges that don't support anything. So we can bridge over deep water, which is what I was concerned about, but the downside is we can't put anything on top of it. So we will need that advanced bridge building before we can build any of these, uh, any granite walls across the river for defensive purposes. Now, I, I thought I might want to go into autopsies, that type of thing, just in case we get, like, the Orion Corp turn up so we can rip out of their spines. But, in hindsight, I think maybe getting some higher levels of agriculture wouldn't hurt so that we can get, like, the lentil- Oh, shit. Ah, oh, every time. Uh, so that we can get the lentils, something along those lines, so that we can more easily provide food for ourselves. Because obviously we've got winter coming up soon, and we have quite a long winter in this one. So we probably want to grow as much as we can, and the most variety that we can as soon as we can. Right, it was geothermal power, I think, up first. That's a car, thank you, car. And then we also want uh, agriculture. Right, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so, um, besides that, the other thing I've done is sorted out the work orders a little bit. So I've re-added granite blocks to the stone cutters tables, messed around with the um, with the food ones, that type of thing, so that we can finish off these walls as soon as possible. Now we have stopped piling limestone so that we can build walls out of it. Bamboo would be better, um, just because bamboo walls actually give an active beauty bonus where granite walls, for example, just don't give anything. So if we really wanted to maximize moods, I would build it all out of bamboo, but that would also make it very, very easy to knock down because obviously bamboo is very sort of fragile, right? So, um... I'm kind of happy living it with granite for now. I mean, it's already all built, right? I'm not just going to tear it down so they get plus one beauty with everything when we could just build, you know, like a statue or something along those lines. So, the bamboo harvest up here is actually ready to go, I think. Yeah, 92% grown, which is why we're able to do this. But after this, I'm not going to seed this field. I've, I've already forbidden them from sowing in it, so we don't want to do that again. Uh, let's get this shit hauled as well. Um, this is all high-grade steel. I think... Oh, shit, hang on. I forgot to get rid of these as well. That explains why Mason's been running off to every night. I think it will make sense to dismantle all this. What's the floor out of interest? Marble tiles. That could also be kind of useful. Let's dismantle all this because the high-grade steel we can use to build nuclear power plants. So what I'm going to do is go select similar. And we'll just go ahead and deconstruct all of that. And then we'll pick our high-grade steel doors and deconstruct those as well. Mainly because, again, high-grade steel is incredibly useful. Even if we don't end up building the nuclear power plant out of it, if we go into a different form of power this, this playthrough, we can at least put it to other applications like turrets, like really, really durable turrets, for example, probably wouldn't hurt. Man, there's so much of it on the map as well. We got very lucky. I assume the way it works is it picks like a handful of materials to generate from with, with certain weightings, and we just got very highly weighted, um, no pun intended, steel, steel walls there, because steel is heavier than feathers. Right, okay. <laughs> what a fucking reference. Right, so... Uh, now what I plan to do is have an explosion somewhere in the base that we can go and tidy up. Ah... Uh, Oh, Christ, it's because they built a lamp, but they didn't actually build the roof over the top of it, so now that's exploded. Incredible. Right, um, why did you do that, you strange man? I don't know that it was a man, although I'm pretty sure our only builder is a man. Um, everyone's named, except for Mason and Donitz, because again, I like the Mason Donitz storyline we've got going on, so I don't need to worry about that too much. I think we've actually got the resources to build everything, you know, that's available right now. We've just got to wait for them to obviously wake up and work on it. How are our work schedules looking? Um... Everybody is basically set to, what is that, seven hours sleep plus, you know, the rest of anything at all, which is absolutely fine by me. 
in terms of defenses, we're doing incredibly well. We've got a killbot set, but we've also got this ridiculous cluster mortar, which is just going to kill just about everybody. When we finally get the bridges built, that's when we're going to be extremely well defended. That's where they're going to be forced through this kill box, and this mortar is just going to rip them to shreds as they come through it. So, um, what we might want to do is slow them down as much as possible and build these walls out in the most durable material so that the mortar will basically tidy up all the raids for us. Hmm. The only thing I worry about though is this is going to cost a fortune in terms of granite blocks because obviously the mortar is going to destroy these walls probably just about as fast as it destroys everything else in there. So, um, I'm not a big fan of this strategy because again, I think it's going to be quite resource intensive, but for now when we've really, when we're quite undefended, um, Particularly in terms of the amount we can actually fight back considering that two of them are brawlers one of them is capable of violence We've only got four people capable of using guns plus we've got gaping holes in the walls I need this to be as efficient as possible should they choose to come through here. We need to make it count, right? So Working on that as soon as possible probably wouldn't hurt man. They're botching a lot of construction Who have I got building with shitty construction that I probably shouldn't have? Um, Chode Smirtly, I think it probably is. Oh Chode Smirtly and Dave Man, I'd rather you guys were just quarrying instead of getting us some resources rather than just wasting your time, you know, quarrying with shit that you're just going to waste our resources on. So don't worry about that too much. Right, um, it's a real shame you can't prioritize particular sub-jobs as well. I was actually thinking about that earlier. Like, what would I like to see from RimWorld? Sorry? They put the bees in the freezer. I don't know what I expected. That was not one of them. So I was thinking, like I was saying, uh, what would I like to see from RimWorld 2? I think definitely a more... How would I describe it? A, a, a more micromanagey if you wanted to. It shouldn't be enforced, but if you wanted to, like that's similar to how they've got the, the switching between manual and automatic priorities there. Something like that, but to, to really break things down even further than that. So prioritize building, say, uh, this area first. You know, mark areas for highest priority, say. So it sounds kind of confusing, but say we wanted to mark this to be built immediately. Right now, when they want to build something, they will randomly pick between, you know, the bridge or the platforms, or, you know, t tilling the soil, or something along those lines. I want them to prioritize this, and the only way to do that is to forbid everything else, or build it one thing at a time, you know. It doesn't really allow for much planning, RimWorld, unfortunately, besides using the planning tool, which is obviously not ideal, because then you'd still have to, you know, do it all afterwards anyway, so it's not great. Um, one, that's one thing I'd like to see. Now, I was thinking the other thing that I'd really like to see, mainly because it, it sort of came out because I saw a comment saying that the bedrooms are too big, and I responded to that saying, because we've got all these extra furniture models, we do need the extra space. I'm, you know, you only need like six by six rooms. There's, a, there's a, a good mod on the workshop, which is quite well rated, called the Realistic Rooms mod. Which basically makes it so they can live in even smaller rooms than that. But I, I think just for, you know, gameplay purposes, I'm quite happy to build rooms this big. Um, the only reason we need them this big, like I was saying, is because of the, the amount of furniture mods we've got. But then I thought it would be kind of cool if you could just build these up on a second level. So I was kind of thinking like the Sims style, where you have... Um, a control to see varying floors. That way you could also build like basements and things. How cool would that be? Um, the, the only downside to that is playing that top down would be very, very confusing, I think. Huh. And we've also got this as well. A machine collector named Parrot. A machine collector implies to me that they're maybe a crafter, maybe a fabricator, or a smith of some description. Maybe with some uh, intellectual. One town, town councilman, five town guards, two villagers. Fuck me, that could be... There's a raid of eight people versus our four people with guns and three people with melee weapons. Dave is incapable of violence whatsoever. So actually it's only versus six people and four of which are ranged. I mean, it's the Ted Loner's Man's Confederation, our, our sworn enemy. Uh, the people who have been beating us down on a, on a daily basis. Fuck it. Let's offer him safety. Let's see how it goes. Parrot, are you any good? Okay, they did have, as I thought, have crafting and intellectual, which is obviously very, very good. Oh, 10 construction. That's great. With a high passion in it as well, is, is really, really nice to see. Okay, fair enough. I'm actually really glad we got you. Are you capable of violent? Please, for the love of God. Yes. And they're an undergrounder, which is great, because they can stay inside just crafting components all day, and we'll have nothing to worry about. All right, Ted Loner, Man's Confederacy. Let's... Let's fuck him up. Right, um, you're immediately going to grab my clothes. That seems understandable. Welcome to the colony. Let's squad these boys up. Let's get Mason up here. Sort of like in, in this area. Bear in mind, they're going to come around here and they're going to come around here. So we want Mason up there with Chode Smirtly and Quetlachly. Who hopefully, between the three of them, one of them ranged, will be able to deal with any sort of threats we've got going on. I actually kind of want to spread this down a little bit more. Those are going to defend him. They're going to body block him. These three should be able to stop pretty much anything coming around the corner just, you know, by virtue of having big old bullets. Uh, now hopefully the mortar will also tidy some up as well. Parrot, have you got yourself a gun? Um, what have we even got to offer you at this point? Not really very much. Uh, we've got a good revolver, a poor revolver, a poor revolver, 
A poor auto pistol. That seems like an improvement. What's the DPS on this? Um, damage is 10. Warm up is 0 0.3 seconds. Melee, oh, melee damage is irrelevant, obviously. Range cooldown is 1.5 seconds. Let's take a look at the revolver. Um, I'm doing a lot of off the top of my head maths here, which is probably not ideal. Damage on the revolver is better. The cooldown is much, much longer, however. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the auto pistol a go just because I feel like the spray and pay is probably a bit more appropriate when we've got lots of people doing it. Right. Go and grab that. How many are there? There are lots. And some are on animals. The mortar did absolutely fuck all. Oh, God. They've all gone to the north. Oh, Jesus. Um, so what we'll do then. These boys will kill them. Basically a little bit like that. Nice. And then they're going to move up and reinforce. Oh, Lord. Be careful. Uh, you might want to actually stand here. Right, take him out. This is going to be very difficult. Do you want to actually move in and go and lock down the gunfire? There we go, that's good. Get in there. I don't want them to really get too far away from the wall, though. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Get out. Ah, quite largely, you idiot. Alright, there we go. Well, that went pretty well. Are you alright? Death in 13 hours. Shot in the leg, shot in the shoulder. That's absolutely fine. That's not lethal at all. Mason also took a little bit of damage there. Um, gunshot in the revolver in the leg. Absolutely fine. You know what? That could have gone a lot, lot worse. Right? Chode smartly rescue quite largely. Sorry. No unreachable non-prisoner bed in safe temperature. Oh. Right. Okay. Uh, medical? Wait, hang on. Try now. Oh, God. Um, they've surrendered. Mortar. Prepare for war crimes. Nice. There's one dead. That'll teach him. What is that? Oh, a copper knife. I thought it was something cooler. Hang on. Herbtech laser scope revolver. Oh, we got like an epic drop. Okay. This is cool. 95% uh, aim and time. 90 so it's very slightly more accurate. Plus 24 max itch. Po oh, that's not very good. That's, that's like actually not too great. Higher accuracy. That's basically it. And it's scoped so they can hit them from further away. It's probably better than what we've got. Like, it's definitely better than, than this one. So you, you might as well go ahead and equip that. You're more than welcome to. Um, fuck off. Hey, I thought you surrendered. I was feeling remorseful about my mortar actually killing your friend then. But you know what? Honestly, if it takes you out as well, I won't lose any sleep over it. I'm going to be honest. Right. Speed up, team. Go and get yourselves rested. I'll keep an eye and make sure that the... Uh... Oh, here we go again. They escaped. Oh, God. No. Did we get... We got their fucking deer. That's so good. Oh, it's an Ibex ram. We actually killed their ram. That's incredible. Thank you, mortar. Right, let's make sure everyone's... Oh, everyone's healed up immediately. Thank you very much for that. And we've got ourselves... My good friend, Parrot. Hello, Parrot. You are going to be called... Uh, let's go bio. Parrot, you are going to be the return of the thick boy, Grentley Grimble. I hope I'm spelling this right. I don't remember how it was. And his title is going to be Thick Boy. Welcome back, Grentley Grimble. Named in honor of our last... And I'm not going to name them all after the people from the last colony. I mean, we will have some o OC characters. Do not steal. Um, but, you know, I think it's kind of fun to, to bring our boys back. Are you guys going to be okay, right? Yeah, no, they're going to be absolutely... Look at this. Look at this great treatment they got there. 100% quality. 100% quality. Yeah, they're, they're going to be absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about at all. We need, like, a dedicated hospital. That definitely couldn't hurt. We'll put that into the lab. Because that would make the most sense, right? If we have a nice sterile area where all of this can happen. Okay. Um, we've, we seem to have corn in this bedroom. Are we... Are we do we not have enough bamboo? No, we've got plenty of bamboo. Uh, what we want to do, then, is make sure that... Oh, we should probably set up Grantley Grimble's work order. So you are going to be a builder besides... Well, and do basically nothing else, I think. So, repairing is going to go second because the walls are going to get damaged as we, as, as the mortar basically kills everything. Your hacking is also pretty good. Um, sure? That's what hacking mechanoids, which is something I've never done before. It's, it's one of the mods. Um, you know what? Honestly, crafting, building. Uh, you know what? I'm going to maximize all of these things. So that we've got ourselves a dedicated crafter to go along with uh, Sidini there, the rob roboticist. Um, you don't need to deliver because you can build. You don't need to deliver because you can build. And... You also don't need to deliver because you can build. There's no point in them taking resources somewhere and not actually building it up, right? Um, everyone else can, though. That's fine by me. Yeah, you are really good, Gwendolyn Grimble. I'm very impressed. Good character. Glad glad I agreed to that. Now, I was kind of thinking it was a bit risky because of the whole, you know, you know, people incapable of combat in our colony or at least incapable of, you know, meaningful combat. Oh, we need to mark that as uh, not a medical bed. Otherwise, they're just going to lie on the floor. So what are we looking at in terms of um, resistance here? 21. I forgot to actually set them to interact with them. My mistake. But hopefully, you know, they're going to be comfortable. They're in quite a nice room there. If I put some furniture in as well, improve their mood over time. So that will uh, hopefully make them a lot easier to recruit. 
It's looking good. There's a nice little colony we've got going on right now. Apparently we need shit tons more wood, though. Uh, yeah, we really don't have enough. How much have we got? 56. Mason Ryan's slipping in the freezer. We just need more bedrooms as soon as possible, really. So, let's go for the whole wood chopping aspect. Um, there's not really much from nearby. Uh, I'm happy to chop down everything inside the base, because obviously, you know, we're going to want to build there, right? So, so it doesn't matter if the trees are kicking around. Um, let's also go work. I think I forgot to give... Uh, Grantly Grimble plant cutting. Everyone should have plant cutting, to be honest with you, because it's always... I'll never have so much designated that it won't always be the top priority, if that makes sense. If I'm designated it, it means we need it urgently, right? But that's what the hopefully the management mod is going to do for us and remove that. Um, so this basically allows us to micromanage certain things so that we can... Is that another raid? Oh, God, shit. Uh, not a big fan of that, I will admit. One. One mechanoid has dropped in the prisoner's cell. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, Lial, who is incredible with animals, I really want to keep you because I really want to tame some animals and obviously try and genetically manipulate them a little bit. But we might not have a choice here. I think you're about to be sliced up. Hopefully it's just a scyther or something and not like a mammoth because those things are impossible to take down. Especially with only like, like I said, with four people with guns here. Right. Um, you may want to run. I'm going to mark this door as held open. Chode smartly get out here. Your melee skills might come in handy. Oh, God, here we go. Go and hold that door. What was it doing? <gasps> yeah, it's a scyther. Okay, uh, get in there. Save Lial. Right, you guys get behind. Give Chode smartly some support. Just lock it down. Come on, come on, come on, please. Yes, that's what I was after. I was after the stun. Right, there we go. Okay, not too bad. Are you guys okay? How are you doing? It's just the side of the blade. They should be fine. Yep, a couple of cuts here and there. Cut badly in the torso, but not a problem, really. Go and, go and get yourself some rest. My God. That could have been way worse than it was, eh? Right, we need to make sure we shut this door as well. That could have been really, really bad. Excuse me, I said... Oh, okay, there we go. Just the game's taking a while to catch up. Right, okay. Uh, Donit, if you could also do me a favor and... There we go, nice. All right. Man, that could have been a lot, lot worse. I'm really glad we didn't get a mammoth. Chode Smirtly. Oh, my freaking God, game. <laughs> Joe and Smirtley proposed a lifelong commitment to Dave. Dave agreed, and the two are now engaged. Dave and Chode Smirtley, together till the end. Incredible. Don't know what I expected, really. How are we doing in terms of raw resources, then? Uh, not too bad, by the looks of it. We're getting a decent amount of steel. What I'm looking for is components from this, obviously, because that's the one thing we're really missing a huge amount of at this stage. Major break risk. Sedini, you're right. Recreation starved. Oh, right, probably because we don't have recreation variety. In fact, we don't have any recreation at all right now because I didn't reinstall the horseshoes pin. Oh, we've got the, we've got the, 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 what is it, the martial arts target, and we've got some statues as well. Um, let's see what we can do in terms of recreation. So over here, like I was saying, we have got, um, I didn't really go through what I'd planted. I completely forgot about that. So we've got, uh, two lots of cotton, one of which I'll replace with Devil's Trine later on. I don't, don't want to make the farms too big because of the whole permanent winter thing. It's a bit of a waste of time to have big farms because it will just die off before. Chances are most of it will grow anyway. Uh, we've got some rice there. We've just got some heel roots, some um, uh, pincushion and some potato plants just for a sort of variety. What we could do is like we did with the first base, we could box in around this uh, steam geezer, right? So that it's permanently, you know, a warm a warm area and reinstall the heat lamps that I've got just hidden away in storage right now. That might be a bad idea. We've also got a backup heater as well if we need it. That's not a bad plan. Might be worth doing that. What are we looking at right now? We're looking at 12 degrees. Is it even growing season? Does it still count? It is still growing season. Uh, when does it stop? First of September. So that's next month? Yeah, because it's Jugus will be July, August. Then September will be September, October. Right, okay. Um... If we're going to build that, we need to build it soon. Um, I kind of tempted to do that as well, seeing as the lab's going to be a while before it's ready. I also want to leave enough room to build around this, though, in the event that we do want to tap into it with our geothermal power. Um, speaking of which, let's go power, let's go geothermal. Um, yeah, no, that's plenty of room. All right, uh, let's not get too large a structure around it, because obviously the smaller it is, the more efficient uh, the heating for it will be. And we can use this little bit of extra area that we're going to get as well to... Uh, why am I building that out of wood? Should build it out of bamboo or something more, a little bit more expendable. Right, let's go and get rid of, uh, get rid of all this. Build it out of bamboo instead. Right, let's, let's try that again, genius. Right, uh, ba 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 bamboo. There we go. And like I said, the smaller it is, the more efficient the heating will be, so we don't need to heat it as often. And the, all the, this sort of dead area up here, around the other side of the geothermal, Jenny will use that for, uh, just more, growing more crops, basically. So why don't we do that now before I forget? Um, let's go ahead and, oh, we can place another, place another 6 by 6 why not? Oh, well, not really there so much. Try it now, because around that's going to be the generator, sure. What are we going to put there? 
Should probably get like Devil Strand or something first. Span zone. Let's put that there as well. Right, that's gonna be our winter supply. And you know what? I feel like that the, the generator alone probably won't be enough. So I'm also gonna reinstall this heater. Oh my god, can we get it close enough? Not quite. That's a bit annoying. Alright. Um, it doesn't really matter where we put it, honestly. The whole room, as long as the, the heat's trapped in, it won't make too much of a difference. Alright. What is going on? Why are we getting no research done then? Um, who are our researchers? I need to check what they're doing. So we've got Nick and Dave. Dave's working in the mine because I've set quarrying to higher than research because I'm an idiot. So let's turn that one down. And then Nutick is harvesting pine tree, which is fair because I did want plant cutting above researching anyway. But after that, it should go immediately back to the research. Sweet. So today's in the days because of the recreation staff problem that I was talking about a second ago. You know, that's fine. That's understandable. Uh, the... Should we get that installed just so they've at least got something to do? I mean, we need more recreation. We can't really do much without the cloth, unfortunately. Um, how much cloth do we have? Apparently we have some in storage. Okay, how much do we have? Oh, apparently... we. I know that I've got somewhere between 5 and 50 cloth. I can't for the life of me see it in storage, though. Must be somewhere on the map, I guess. Um, what about, like, a chess table as well? Sure, just give them some sort of recreation bonus there. Uh, let's go furniture. We'll build this out of bamboo as well. Like I said, just try and conserve a little bit of wood here and there. Uh, B is for bamboo. And if I'd have thought about it, I'd have also built all the beds out of bamboo because it gives a higher beauty bonus than uh, your standard wood, which I don't really necessarily agree with, but there we go. That's, if that's what the game thinks, then I can't really argue with it. Okay. How's the kill box going, more importantly? Pretty good. It's actually almost finished. We've got like a little bit of the water to do there, and then it's basically done, which is kind of nice. Obviously, the rest of it is going to take friggin' ages to build, so I won't worry about that too much. I just want to get the actual perimeter wall done, get this built immediately. Oh, God, there we go. Right. So the heating is all set up. Yeah, the base is quite well insulated there from heat, plus we've obviously got every room being heated up anyway. So nothing to really worry about. Our crops, though, are... Dead AF. They're, they're all gone, my friends. Uh, a little bit of a shame there, because we're getting kind of close to be able to harvest. Yep, there they go. Oh, well, rip. Never mind, eh? Oh, we need a mass grave. Uh, that's something I definitely do need pretty immediately, because that's going to make them kind of sad, I guess. Um, line the walls with mass graves. Put it right out the kill box. No, no, no. Let's put it like uh, let's put it here, so it's kind of convenient to get to still. Just loads of mass graves. We'll have, like... We'll just have two for now. We're not going to fill two mass graves apart. That's ridiculous, right? Prioritize hauling on that. And then... We'll get all of these bodies hauled urgently, just so they're not completely depressed all the time because of the amount of corpses everywhere. I feel like it's a fair idea. Right. Uh, let's allow that muffler. What are, we, what are we missing? Why not? What do you mean no storage space? I mean, that's a, that's a complete fabrication. What are you talking about? Clearly, there's storage space. I guess that's just for, like, a stockpile zone, which is understandable. I mean, I don't particularly want to stockpile up human corpses. Not yet, anyway. Not until we get properly into the genetic rim stuff. Right. How are we looking in terms of the, uh... Man, this is going to be so difficult to insulate now during this cold snap. We're going to have to wait for that to end before we can work out, you know, what sort of power supply we need to expand keeping this room warm. As long as the bedrooms can get done as soon as possible, that's all I really care about. Because that's the thing that's really screwing us here. Um, let's delete these growing zones in the bedrooms. Not entirely necessary. There we go. We've actually got work on construction going now. Bridge is almost finished. We've got one of the, uh, one of the stockpile zones done there. That's a bedroom finished. Sweet. Now we need the actual bed itself building. Hey, Donuts. Uh, need more wood? Seriously? Oh, god damn. I thought we maybe had enough after, after all that. Okay, fair enough. Chop some more wood then. Why not? How are the mufflers doing? They seem fairly comfortable in this temperature. Uh, uh, are Brachiosauruses okay in this temperature? Are you good? Carcinoma? Minor growing? Oh, god. That's really bad. 11-year-old. Dementia and carcinoma. Jesus. I kind of wanted to domesticate some of these dinosaurs to see if it worked with uh, genetic rim. I think... There's a compatibility patch, but don't quote me on that one. I'm not entirely sure. This is nice. This is a nice little base. I like that we've got everything set up quite well now. I, I'm not entirely well. Yeah, there's still some people, uh, you know, sleeping literally on the floor in the lobby. But that once we've got that sorted out, we'll be fine. Now, it's kind of cold in there, but that's only because it's such a large room. We could get another heater set, right? We do have a spare one. Yeah, let's get that. Um, I mean, to the farm during the cold snap, which I'm not even sure we can sustain. Or do we actually actually want to put it in the living area. You know, I feel like the living area is a little bit more important, so we'll put that there instead. What are you doing, Donuts? Let's keep it on you, seeing as you are our number one boy. Hauling some wood over. That's pretty good. Hopefully we get some... Yeah, that's another bedroom done. Sweet. We need another bed as well. Oh, shit. That'll be part partly why, because I obviously turned this into a medical bed. Right, there we go. It's because we're spending so much fucking wood on all this furniture. Let's, let's prioritize the bed first, eh? Let's get that one finished before we waste anything on some wardrobes. Nice, okay. Uh, if we get this granite wall done as well, just to trap some heat in, we might need a couple more. Oh, we've already got heaters. Right, good. Okay. Um, 
Let's go for the power line as well. Where, where are the power lines? Right, okay. Oh, what a mess this is. Holy shit, what a waste of resources. We'll do that. It's not, it's not hugely ideal. That's the problem with the blueprint mod, right, is if you're trying to conserve resources a little bit, obviously if you copy, it'll copy everything. So say you're playing with, like, the hygiene mod, which I've shown off in a couple of episodes as well, um, particularly in the first series. The hygiene mod, you'll just copy all the pipes from that, which can be a big pain in the ass, obviously, if you don't want to, you know, plumb it in in a particular way. You want to be kind of as efficient as possible with that stuff so it doesn't turn into a mess. What are we missing? Oh, the scyther, right. I mean, that's fine to go in here. I don't mind that too much. Clear all. Let's go uh, corpses and mechanoid. Right. That should solve that problem. Item stash. Oh, shit. Really? How can I not do that? AI Persona Core. Where, where is it? Uh, there may be danger there, but it's so good. We need that for so much. Oh, God. It's, oh, Kelly's Lunacy Cliffs. Cliffs. Do you want to go up to Ke Kelly's Lunacy Cliffs to try and grab ourselves a potentially guarded... I mean, it's a hike through the mountains as well. How long would it take to get there? Then I'll sort of make my mind up. Uh, choose route. No, 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 no. Accept. No, no, no. Cancel. Uh, uh, wait, what? Oh, right, right. We have to actually put a colonist on it to be able to pick the route. Right, fair enough. Um, shit, 5.9 days. Mainly because of the mountain, I imagine. Let's make travel time. Yeah, look at that. Just getting from there to there adds another two days onto this entire travel route. Wow. <coughs> Jesus, I'm losing my voice here. Christ. Not a big fan of that. Okay. Uh, no then. I won't be doing that if you don't mind. That is, uh... Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a Persona Core. We don't need it now, right? I feel like it's greedy and it's just going to cost us more than what we're going to get out of it. Like, we have no immediate use for it. It's useful for some of the end game AI stuff, but for now it's not really relevant. And it's going to cost us so much, like, actual progress in terms of the speed that we can get things going to, to head over there. It's not worth it, I'd say. Right, I like that there's already a wolf in our barn. That didn't take very long at all. Let's get a, uh... We run out of bamboo. Shit, we absolutely have. <sighs> I don't know what I expected. Alright, um, that's fine. That's not a big deal. Right, let's get ourselves a door on the... Let's go structure. Let's go... What do you think? Steel door? Got plenty of steel now, apparently. Um, let's get that as close to the bridge as possible so they're not wasting time walking around, especially during this cold weather. Right, okay. Cancel that. Let's build it out of just, what, regular old wood? Do we have enough wood left over? Um... We do, we have shit tons of it. Right, sweet, that'll do. It won't look particularly nice, but for now, I'm sort of going by, you know, needs, rather than what looks good. Right, there we go, that should solve that problem. Donitz, what are you doing, my friend? He's having a line. The cold snap's over. Oh, thank God for that. When, are we still in the 2nd of September? God damn it, we've just missed growing season as well. Uh, it should be alright inside here, though. Let's get this sun lamp set up as well, before I forget. We must have plenty of power, right? Oh god, we really don't. Nope, nope, we absolutely do not. Um, Right, turn that off. Let's have one research bench, because we're not using two at once anyway, so that's irrelevant. Um, shit, okay. I didn't think power would be such an immediate problem. I suppose it's all the heaters, right? Keeping it in for the, uh, keeping us going for the winter. We have plenty of wood kicking around, so I imagine, yeah, we've got enough resources to build another water turbine here. Um, put one there? It's not ideal. It looks kind of ugly, but I'll do it. Why not? Okay, sure. Let's put one there. Let's get that, uh... Plumbed in. Let's get that piped in. Electriced in. Wired in. That's the word. We'll get it. <laughs> Unbelievable. We'll get it wired in. Look, I've, I ha I've not had much sleep again. We'll get it wired in so that uh, we can solve the initial power issues. Why are they not researching still? What am I researching doing? I've, I need to, like, constantly keep an eye on them here. Nick is cutting stone blocks from trunk. Oh, shit. Really? <sighs> am I retarded? Uh, what are you doing that isn't... So what is Dave actually doing right now that isn't researching? Oh, playing chess. Right, that'll probably be something to do with it, eh? There we go. Right, let's get this research done as quickly as possible so we can actually start working on the power problems because that will definitely solve it. Advanced geothermal power. We'll never have to worry about power again, I think, after that point. This should, though. So, yeah, there we go. We're actually ticking up again. That's good. Right. So, we're almost about... We're, we're more than breaking even. We, we are almost at the stage where I'd be kind of comfortable turning this back on. But whilst we're doing so much building work, it's not worth it anyway because we're not even using it, right? So, it's all up to Dave right now. Dave's keeping the colony afloat. I think, weirdly enough, that's quite a good amount of progress. We've got the bedroom set up. We've got this weird little farm thing set up as well. Um, next episode, I'll do a, a, a bit more heavily edited episode. I'm trying not to do them so much. I know people like to see what's going on uh, between them, especially with a game like RimWorld where you can suddenly get hit by a raid, like the Mechano dropping into the prison. I don't really like editing RimWorld so much because it's, it's such a, a sudden turnaround game, you know, like a cold snap and, a, a you know, like a power surge or a, a battery exploding. If I'm... 
you know, doing a lot of heavy edit editing, it's basically just going to be a lot of that shit back to back without keeping in, you know, this sort of building and planning stage. So, can try not to do it so much, but next episode I'll probably do a more heavily edited one so we can speed up the whole building thing and actually get to the meat of the playthrough, which is obviously going to be the uh, genetic rim stuff, at which stage I'll be able to turn off this goddamn speed bomb, which everybody hates. Yeah, I think that's a good place to leave it. Thank you all for watching. And I will give a big shout out to my insane top tier levels. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Jacob Alexander Fenson, Jackson Whitman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired Scene, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcs Wolf, Josh and Dean Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm the Lizard King for the support the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for that. My God, I feel like I'm dying or something. I really can't keep up today. And as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Vakuna Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Lashley, Brandon Montoniak, Paul Master, Evergreen's Wife, Who Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick Sidini, Astro, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yoran de Vries, Don Connie 2 and 7, Nathan Flores, and many, many others. Thank you, and I'm going to bed. Hope you all like Rimworld. We'll be back tomorrow. Like I said, I'll try and do something a bit more edited.